And one day our church bought a, a church car, a great a van. But there was no one to drive it. But they bought this brand new car. And at the time I was the director of the Sunday school. And after a Sunday worship, all the Sunday school teachers, we were supposed to go to the prayer mountain, but there was a car to take them, but no driver. <laughs> I said, everyone, get in, I'll drive. <laughs> you know, it's one thing if I killed myself, now why am I trying to kill other people? <laughs> 아니 한 번도 주행 같은 거 해보지도 않은 사람이 근데 면허 하나 땄다고 사탈해 자기 운전 내가 운전한다. I never drove, but I got a license, and now I'm driving a church van with other people in the car. 가면서 시동도 몇번 꺼트리기도 하고. I the ignition turned off a few times on the way. 어쨌든 갔다 잘 갔다 왔어. <웃음> so I don't know how, but we made it there and we made it back. 지금 내가 막 생각을 해보니까. And I think about it now, and I'm like, ignorance really is bliss. <laughs> Do you not understand what I'm saying? <laughs> if I knew how complicated and dangerous it really was, do you think I would have been able to do it? <laughs> if I knew how dangerous driving was, even if they gave me the key and told me to do it, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But because I didn't know how dangerous it was or what it involved, I'm like, hey, get in, and I just started driving. And on the way, there were times where the ignition would just turn off and things would start making noises in the car and I had no idea what was going on and I still dragged the car. Of course, I sweat a little. What do you think God sees? I think God probably felt like this was an emergency case. This bum, he doesn't even know what he's doing, and he just got in a car and he's driving something. What do you think God had to do? Why? Because even though I don't know, God knows, right? So God had no choice but to send the angels. That's the only reason why we went and got back safely. I never once drove before in my life, and here I am driving a van load of people somewhere and bringing them back. What kind of people do I raise as workers in my field? Those people who are like, I'm gonna, I want to be a worker. I don't let them be workers. Because those people, they're ready to do things. But when I preach the gospel, there are people who God has prepared according to his plan. And absolutely, he gives grace to those individuals. 이, 이, 이 의리를 지속하다 보면 점점 그리스도를 깨달은 이 실제가 And if they continue to receive that grace, they begin to gradually, realistically experience the reality of Christ. 근데 잘 몰라 이게 비밀이기 때문에. But they don't know what's happening because it's a mystery. 근데 이게 체험된다 말이야. But they're experiencing things. 뭘 하나님이 하신 일이 전도와 여러 가지 생각. Then the works of God begin to appear in that person's life, whether it's through evangelism or other things. And that's when I say, you, why don't you be a worker? So what kind of people do I raise as workers? I raise people who receive grace. 
신학한 사람 말고. I don't raise up people who study theology. 내가 사역자 하겠다 그런 사람 봐요. I don't raise up people who say I'm going to be a worker. 은혜 받는 사람. I raise up people who receive grace. 요 비밀을 조금 체험하는 사람. Just I raise up people who are beginning to experience this mystery just even a little bit. 한 번은 어떤 현장 속에 현장의 사역자를 다른 현장으로 모면서 그 현장에 사역자를 그 시대에 대한 이 One time. There was this one field where I had to send the worker from that field to another field, and I needed to find another worker for that field. So I start looking around. Who is receiving grace? And what kind of person, to whom is God giving this grace to? And to those who are who are receiving this grace and they're experiencing Christ, the realities and the manifestation of the works of Christ are appearing somehow in their life. 그 사람 반갑기 때문에 또 가서 하여간. And because I had found someone in that field and I've been watching them, when it was time to replace the worker, I said, "Why don't you be the worker?" 은혜 받는 사람은 안 이유가 없습니다. 기회입니다. When People for people who are receiving grace, they don't say no. For them, that is an opportunity. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is going to lead them that way. For those who are in grace, they do not say no. Did this person ever give a message before? 사역자 준비 사역자들하고 준비 전혀 그런 거 없어. They never once were pruned to become. They were never weaned or anything to become a worker. 그동안 하나님께서 그 사람에게 조금 이 은혜를 깨닫고 체험하는 것을 받기 때문에 오늘 제가 세운 겁니다. And I only raised them up on the on that day because I witnessed, I saw that they were beginning to experience this mystery. 은혜 속에 있기 때문에 예가 수밖에 없잖아. And because they are in grace, they are going to say yes. 예는 했는데 설교해야 돼. Now this worker said, "Okay, but now they have to give messages." So now they're in trouble. <laughs> now when they think about what they have to do, they're kind of overwhelmed. They've never done that before. But now they have to preach. Imagine how burdened they must have been. When they said, "Okay," they said the "Okay" when they were in grace. So when they said yes, they were in grace. But when they thought about what they needed to do, suddenly they came to their right mind. And now suddenly they have to do something. From that point on, they started preparing. They tried to do their best to be ready. Because as much darkness as they have, they have no choice but to try and prepare. And because they've never done it before, imagine how burdened. Imagine the pressure. They've never done this before, so they listen to my sermons, trying to get some pointers. They prayed really hard. They start looking through resource books. The moment that person started to prepare, it was no longer grace. 그럼 준비를 아무리 많이 해도 불안합니다. Then no matter how much, how prepared they are, they're going to be anxious. 아마 그것만 설계할 것만 생각하면 가슴이 걱정 못 뛰고. And I'm sure when they only thought about when they had to preach, their hearts were probably beating out of their chest. 아니야 밥 아니야 그러면 밥만 없을 거야. I'm sure they lost their appetite too. 잠이나 제대로 잤을 거 모르겠어요. I don't even know if they slept well. And so it Sunday finally came. And they went. You know, they went to the service because they have to preach. And he's this person prepared. So they sang up. They were fine up until praise. And they even read the scripture passage. Because that was all prepared. 설교를 하려고 하는가? 입이 딱 붙었어. And as soon as he stood there to preach, his mouth wouldn't open. 입이 안 떨어져. He couldn't open his mouth. He couldn't 